with anything Shakespearean or other period uh, that rhymed that I wanted to use. So I'm going back to scripture. Whether you believe it's a tale that's been translated numerous times through numerous lines, or actually that inspired word, um, go back and imagine the revelry and the promiscuity that's enjoyed by and embodied by the Greeks, the orgiastic way that they worship their gods, like Dionysus, and then let's compare these two saints. Um, this is from Matthew 118. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to take her, not, bleh, not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived of her is the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son. Then Joseph took unto him his wife, and knew her not, so he was married to her, but he didn't have sex with her until she brought forth a son. So imagine a world where there had been no Virgin Mary, and Joseph, as any man, got married and decided to, you know, consummate his marriage like you normally would. I believe that uh, that would change the story and history of human beings are a man.